Hey girl, it's Sonia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a huge She Glam, which is from Shein.com. They have a bunch of beauty products now that they came out with that are all over TikTok and I decided, why not? I did have to take my makeup off and start again a few times because damn. But there are some hidden gems here, so make sure to get comfortable and let's get started. I already have moisturizer and primer all over my face. I'm going to be using my products that I don't have in the She Glam products on my face. That makes sense. I got two shades of the She Glam Skinfinite Hydrating Foundation and I got it in the shade Fair and Shell. So I'm not sure which shade I was, but I just went with two of them since they're super affordable, so like why not? I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Fair which in my opinion does not look very fair. So I'm used to it being pretty, pretty light. And this looks like it's got a lot of color. So what do I know? Okay, that looks really light. Okay, never mind. Here are some swatches. So there is fair. Yeah, that looks better. It is super lightweight. Okay, not bad. I also wanted to try out a little bit of their balms, like foundation balms. So this is what the packaging looks like. Again, it comes in a little sleeve. And I got three different shades. So I wasn't sure about my foundation shade, but I also got one that could be possibly used as a contour. So these are the two shades that I got. Let's do a little swatch of both. This is Shell, so I'm not surprised that I thought this would look better because the shell in the liquid foundation looked like a perfect match. And then we have this one which is a little bit warmer. So let's try them both. Whoa, that is really creamy. I just barely put my finger in it and it... So there is shell. And then here is... In my mirror, it looks like this one's a better match. It is kind of like on the greasy side, to be honest with you. It's really thick. The balm is $8.49. It comes in 30 shades as well. It's supposed to be long wearing, lightweight, smoother looking, and non cakey. I did want to swatch really quickly the sandalwood. I'm just wondering if it could be used as a contour. Or is it going to be too red? Well, first of all, that was way too freaking much. Damn it. Let me take this shit off my face. Hold on. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Nude. Yeah. This is the She Glam in Nude. It's their foundation balm. It is so creamy that I don't think I would feel comfortable using my brushes or using a sponge because I feel like it will like just soak it up and kind of make it really hard to wash off. But as I'm applying it to the rest of my face, it feels really good. It's almost like a putty primer, but with a lot of pigment. And as you can see, it color corrected underneath my eyes really, really well. Okay. It's just kind of a bitch to have to. <laughs> I'm just not used to applying this with my finger. I'm just not, I'm not used to using my fingers for my foundation. So let's try a brush, why not? I just don't want to ruin it. <laughs> okay. With a brush, I can definitely get more coverage. But I feel like because of the amount of product, that any little touch, I'm actually moving it around. Mm -mm. That ain't it. Do you see that? There's a lot of streaking here. A lot. No. Mm-hmm. 
Look okay, at there's streaking here just from me going like this. There's a lot of streaks. I'm making dots from the hole in the brush too. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm hoping something works though. Okay, so far, Ixnay on the balm A. Here is that sun stick, and one side is a product, and one side is like an angled kabuki brush, which is really cool because I like the fact that this is travel friendly, or you can put this in your makeup bag. And then on the other side, we have the product, which doesn't look as dark as I was expecting, which I guess can be a good or a bad thing. Really creamy. So there we go. This looks like it might be a winner for my nose, so it's not so horrifically contoured where it's so obvious. This is typically where I put my contour, right here, start etching these things out, and then on my nose. Then we got our little brush on the side. Ah. Okay, maybe the nose would be a good contour spot for this brush. It's too small and too dense. I need it to actually move. I almost feel like I'm rubbing it off. It's like dragging my skin. I don't like the brush. Damn it. Take a hint lip tint in the shade Birthday Lips. What the hell's going on here? Oh shit, it's developing now. It's making the white on my lips really white. On the website, the models that are modeling this shade, it looks gorgeous. I put it on my lips and I freaked out because it was getting really dark. I didn't like the texture, so for me, definitely don't recommend this one at all either. So I purchased quite a bit for my cheeks. Almost like every product that I purchase is for my cheeks, whether it be a bronzer or a, a liquid blush. So I got both. I've got a few shades of their liquid blush and a couple of shades of their bronzer. I'm hoping that they're not too orange or not too gray, but let's check it out. They kind of remind me of Fenty Beauty and they look like this. Super cute. Now, I don't know if it's like supposed to be like a dot thing. Ah, I don't wanna to put too much just in case it's super pigmented. But let's start off with that. I can get with that, that works. Oh, this one looks darker. So this is the one that I used first and then this is the second one. This is the Warm Honey. So as you can tell, it's a lot darker. So we have Float On, Love Cake, and Hush Hush. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple of dots on my cheeks. And with these paints, I wonder if it's similar to like Selena Gomez's collection from Rare Beauty, where you just tap it on. See, pretty. And that was really, really easy to blend. Honestly, I think it's almost easier than the Rare Beauty ones because those ones are super pigmented. If you move quick, it's gonna stay put. I got two brow pencils and the thinner one is to make those hair-like strokes, so like really fine lines. So let me show you on this brow. We have spoolie brushes on both of these, which is great because you need it to kind of tell the brows which direction you want them to go, and it helps to blend the product too. So with this one, you can make the strokes of hair like this, and then this pencil looks very similar to the brow pencils that I love from Benefit, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, I can go on and on because I feel like every brand has a pencil similar to this, but depending on how you hold this pencil, you can make the hair like strokes, and then you can also fill in the brows. Either one of these is gonna be a good situation because they're really affordable, they're great dupes for those high-end products, and I really like the way my eyebrows came out, so definitely give these a thumbs up. Here is one of the palettes, and this is their Beach Sunset. It's a mix between like shimmer, metallics, and matte shades, which is great because you need, you, need, you need a little bit of both in your life. $6.49, nine eyeshadows, a smart cookie palette, and this is the one that is right up my alley because it's all matte shades, but they're neutral shades, and you've got the orange, you got the dark brown down here. This one here is like the best transition color ever, 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 so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit pan on this one really quick. Now, in my opinion, 
I don't like this brush. I would skip it if I was you guys. I mean, cute, yes, because it's nude. Um, I love the idea of it. The bristles are not as soft as I thought. They're kind of like a little bit scratchy and I have very sensitive skin, so anything makes me break out into hives. My dog is soft. My dog's probably like, bitch. Sorry, you have soft fur, girl, okay? $2.99 and it has a wooden handle. Um, another brush that I got, which is super cute, and I got two of these too, just in case I liked it. I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you whether or not I like it or not. This is the She Glam Color Plum Brush. Color Plum Brush. Color Plum Brush. It's super cute because it does look like a little paw print. Um, and it's really soft, but I'm just not sure how it's going to work with any of the cosmetics. So I'm going to have to look that up before I destroy this brush. $2.99 as well. I got two of these, again, just in case I liked it. I can't return them anyway, so I'm going to end up having to give them out as gifts. Sorry, um, but yeah, maybe someone else will like them. They do have like a lot of ratings, like they do have a lot of positive reviews, so this is just my opinion. Again, they do have a lot of positive reviews and this is just my opinion. I wish that there was more brushes to this kit. This should have said like eyeshadow brush kit um, because this is just eyeshadows. But then again, I'm like, how much can we really do with these brushes? Not very much. So I would probably skip these brushes as well. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I've been hanging out with these products for some time and I finally had a moment to sit down and actually play with it. And I'm glad I did because if I showed you guys online without trying it on, I would feel like shit. If you guys bought any of this stuff, especially the things I did not like, a lot of the stuff I'm like, what the heck? hell is going on? Not only do we want it to be affordable, it needs to work and it needs to look good, okay? If you guys have any other products that you would like me to try out for you guys before you invest your money, let me know in the comments down below as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope to see you guys in the next one and take care. Bye!